All right, let's move on to the Bazegar, which is how to finish a shot from the outside single, um, where it's like an inside the head double. So I'm not gonna real, okay, well, there's a bunch of people online that teach you the Bazegar. It's not the Bazegar, trust me. Like, it's really the Schultz. We'll all call it the Bazegar, okay? I learned it from him, from Bazegar. I don't know how to say his first name. It's like Manur, Manur Bazegar. Anyway, we learned it from him. 1997 <clears throat> at a camp I was at and he was so frustrated with all of us he taught it to us and all these all-americans that were there from the University of Minnesota and there are differences in the way that he does it and just really quick I I'm just going to show you why none of us are doing it right and then I'm going to show you how all of us are doing it and it's really the Schultz um okay so the Bazigar is like if you're in a single here right and I stand up with it Usually what ends up happening in the way I'm going to teach it, okay, is when I start running the pipe, he'll put his leg, I'll show you this again in fast motion, okay, but I want to show you how he teaches it first and then I'm going to show you, <laughs> then I'm not going to show it to you because none of us can do it. <laughs> it's too complicated, okay, but when the guy puts his leg to the outside, you just basically start running and run him over, okay, that's how we're all taught. But the way he teaches it is when you put it to the outside, he does this crazy thing where he he, he kind of turns his body and he sort of loads up on the crotch like this. And the guy comes up off the mat. It's like a corkscrew. I'm just not, I just can't do it well. He, he comes like this deep and he corkscrews them up. And this why none of us could do it. We couldn't get the guy to come up off the mat. He had crazy good hips, okay? And he was so strong and he'd be able to lift. He'd come up like this and lift you up and then run you over. None of us are doing that. Everybody calls what they're doing the Bazegar. I'm going to call it that too because not, now this is for him. If he's ever watched, he'll never watch this, but if he was going to watch it, I, I know how you taught it, but I can't do it. Okay. So never could. So here's the way everybody else teaches it, but I want to add a few details. So um, I've seen some really good wrestling coaches and when they teach it, they're, they're forcing it. They're forcing his leg up high. It's never going to happen. If I start trying to, I, I just don't, don't do it. I'll show you why this is, how this is supposed to work, how it worked for me in division one. I actually have a photograph on my Instagram of me on the ground in a single leg. We tried to get the, the it was from a movie. We tried to get it to be um, in a video where I actually had the full on sweep, but it blurred because it was VHS because we're old. So when you get it, here, put your leg to the inside. It's when I'm running the pipe. As I'm running the pipe, he'll put his leg to the outside, okay? I don't have to try to force it up high because he's going to do it. When I run the pipe, uh, yeah, we'll uh, face forward a little bit more. When I'm running the pipe, okay, here, he'll put it to the outside. When he does, I'm on it. I'm going to come here and I'm going to run him across. And you see how my arm comes up high here? I'll show you from the other side and then I cover him, okay? So we can show it on this side. So I'm here. Okay, I go to run the pipe, he puts his leg to the outside, and as soon as he does, I don't have to lift it up. I'm already in there, okay? I'm just gonna transfer here and run him over. And you see how this hand came up? Now, I'm in a pinning position. In jujitsu, I'm in a great position because I have the underhook, okay? Um, cover here, okay, in, in wrestling, or cover here in jujitsu, okay? Um, when I finished it, in college, I'd a lot of times come in the crotch so they can't belly out. It's not as jujitsu people, not necessary. Won't get you anything. Actually, just get your arm stuck because people will. I, everybody always does it to me in practice where they like squeeze my arm. What are you going to do? But well, I don't know why people do that. I'm like, okay, you're taking my arm away for a second. I'm just going to wait. I mean, it's not like they can do anything with it, but white belts always do that to me. They always grab like, because I have a tendency to hold people's hips that way. Where, here, lay down here, where I hold, because in wrestling, when I take people down and I finish that, like, I come up underneath and grab, like, grab the back of the tag of their shorts, because now turn into me, you can't turn into me, turn away, you can't turn away, see, and so I'm pretty good at getting in these positions in jujitsu, and then sometimes I'll, I'll come here in order to start working up high, it's just me been doing it for 30 years, and then people will, like, squeeze my arm. Like, and I'm like, what are you, what are you going to do with that? You know, just so I just have to wait until they're done with their nonsense. 
before I pass like all the way. But like I can get it out if I want. But anyway, so um, so let me show it on the other leg because people always ask me what's it look like on the other leg. It looks exactly the same. <laughs> so we're here, okay? And I go to run the pipe and he puts it to the outside. I come here and run him over, okay? And I throw this arm up and I cover here, okay? I don't have to lift his leg up really high. Um, I don't know if we went off the camera, so let's do it one more time here. So here, no matter how I get here, I can come here, right here. I come in, yep. I want to move, okay? Now, it depends, you know, what, what, what's your style? Do you want to isolate this arm? Do you want to wrap the head? Whatever it is, but my arm comes and catches this, because in that way I've got good chest pressure, and I'm not letting him back in the game right away. Dom's really good when we're rolling at immediately getting an underhook on me from the bottom, and his shoulders are too wide to darse him. <laughs> so uh, <That's> not true. <laughs> I can't darse him. But look at my, yeah, look at my arms. <laughs> um, but so you know, it puts you in a good position. It's really great for jujitsu because there's no choke that he really has. It was on the outside, okay? So um, let me just do it one more time slow. I can do the left leg again. So uh, let's just say, you know, I took a shot, right? I pulled him step, outside single. I'm coming up, and as I run the pipe, he puts his leg to the outside. I'm just turning to the camera. I wouldn't do this if we're wrestling, okay? <laughs> so we're here. Right, we're here, I run the pipe, and he pulls it there. Okay, let's turn here. And now, I'm just gonna run him. I'm afraid we're gonna run you off. Okay, so we're here, and I run over here, okay? And it doesn't have to look super pretty. Like, a lot of times I want their legs up real high. But, that's very effective. It's my legs that are doing it, by the way. I've seen kids do this when you teach it to them. And they do this, they do this, and they, they try to pull it. You can't pull, I can't pull his leg. What I'm doing is, I'm anchoring it, and I'm running it. I'm anchoring it, and I'm running through. Does that make sense? Okay, so, let's <clears throat> see if I can do it slow. Here, I run the pipe, go to the outside. I'm anchoring it, and I'm running through it, okay? And then I'm, I'm throwing my knees up here. Okay, so uh, turn around this way. <clears throat> so that when, so that when I finish the shot, my knees come. Sorry, my knees come up here, one into his armpit. Okay, and the other's blocking his hip. And let me tell you, like, as I hear this from people all the time, like, wrestling and jujitsu is not the same as wrestling. That is nonsense. This is exactly how you finish the takedown in wrestling, a hundred percent. Because I want to catch him here. I'm in a pinning position. It's exactly the same, okay? Like, that move, that position, how do I get to it? How do I finish it? It's a wrestling move. It's not a jujitsu move, okay? And so, you want to get to side control, whether it's wrestling or jujitsu. It happened to work really well for me in college and um, works well for me in jujitsu when we're standing. So, keep, just keep that in mind that, and I'm going to show you a double leg too. You run the double leg, you use your hand to block it, and then you're running to it to bring it closer. You'll never pull a man with your arm. His foot's on the ground, right? His foot's anchored to the ground. You're not pulling his body weight with your arm. You're running it through, okay? And I don't worry about lifting that up super high because as soon as I start running, I could let go of this near leg. It's not important anymore. Okay, so uh, face the camera. Uh, yeah. So once his leg's to the outside here, once I start running, okay, I, I don't abandon this leg, but it's not my, my main focus. This is my main focus, right? And then just like John Marsh shows, the arm that was on the leg becomes that underhook. So that's what I'm doing when we finish that takedown. This is this this one that was on the um, near leg becomes that underhook, and it's happening as we're going to the ground. I think Marsh is a good coach, and the reason I think he teaches that to lift it up high is to just train his athletes into preparing to get the underhook. 
but I think so. But, but it's that far leg that's the most important, and you're running it over. So that's a very good one. Work on that. Okay, obviously, I'm not showing you how to get to the leg, but I have plenty of videos on that. Okay, so you can watch those. I'll link them here, right? So you know where to look. And uh, you will run into specific questions you have. Just ask. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Thanks.